Democratic Congressman Eddie uh, Bernice Johnson he joins right here. I should uh, clarify 1.5 trillion dollars, but the numbers get so big, Congressman. I apologize. Uh, so you think that that the president is focusing too much on the spending cut part? You want to see what? Well, no matter whose budget it is, I want to see some vision and planning for the future of this nation. All of us know that just cutting and doing nothing else is doing nothing more than running jobs out of the country and getting rid of jobs that are here. We cannot solve the problem by just cutting. We all know that we need to do some cutting, but we've got to have revenue generation. We've got to have money for education. We've got to innovate. We've got to create jobs. The Congresswoman, we're, we're broke. We're broke. There are a lot of things I'd love to do, but we don't have the money. Right? We're we just broke. Not, we, listen, we cannot afford to allow this nation to throw away its future. We've already lost the edge. We've got to well, We've already the lost the edge, Congresswoman, because we're so damn broke. We're, we're, we're running in the red for so long that we can't see our heads. So maybe, maybe, sure maybe the reason why we're in the pickle we're in is because we've been so deep in this that we don't know the way out. Maybe it's time to dig out. Well, you know what? It is time to dig out. But we cannot dig out by cutting all the livelihood away from our future. We cannot do it at the expense of our seniors. We cannot do it at the expense of our future with our young people in education. But we don't we owe those young people, man? But don't we owe those young people a debt-free life? If I die and leave to let my me, kids, but if I die and leave to my kids just a lot of bills and debt, uh, for one thing, they're going to be upset. And for another, I've screwed their future. Before we start giving them the, the the, all, all these yeah. benefits, maybe the best present we can give them is no debt. The best present we can give them is a good education with a good direction and innovation so that we can get this country moving. I am not willing to give all of what we've invested to another nation. And that's exactly but what we already we're doing. have. We the more we dig in debt, man, the more we dig in debt, we are in heart donation. Listen. We have China and we have a host of other countries calling our number because they know they have our number. And unless we get that under control, we can't invest in squat. Beggars can't be choosers. I had to break it to you, but I, all I do is follow numbers. I am Fox's nerve, Congresswoman. And we are broke. Broke, 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 broke. Done. Without vision, without planning, without innovation, we're out of the game. I know, but, so, but you can't have vision and innovation when you don't have money to pay for it. I'm just saying, we get out of that, then I can I can see your How vision you and everything. You can't get out without investment. You can't get out without investment. But you can't, you you can't pay for innovation, yes, ma'am, on a credit line. You can't pay for that on a credit line. We did that. No, We've done it under Democratic and Republican presidents alike. We got, you know what, you, you dig a deep hole, Congresswoman. Sometimes the better you know part what? of that is to Your put the shovel there. Is, is that you don't listen. You just scream, and you're screaming the same thing. These fools are screaming here. But ma'am, you're you saying the same thing. Innovation. You're saying the same thing. I'm just asking you to say something different. To realize that, wait a minute, we are in a thing. Nothing different is going to work. We've got to still have vision. We got to still have research. We got to still stay in the game. We still got to educate our young people. Uh, because what's, what are you kids going to do to have no debt, no education, no innovation, no health care? Seniors will be out of nursing home. What good will that do? Seniors will be out of nursing home. Man, man, man. Here, here's what I'm saying. How that, are you going to stay in if you cut all the money? Well, if you're broke, you don't have options. You know what? I would love to have. Oh, but you know, there Congressman, are I would love to have the house in Tahiti. Then I, have, I come to this annoying fact wait a minute, I don't have the money for the house in Tahiti. So it's time yeah, for your grand you. dreams. And a lot of them are great dreams. You get what you, you, you don't get any return without investing. So unless you invest, there's no return. Coming. I know, unless I know. You invest in You're right about investing, but you have money. to have money to invest. We have zero. We don't I'll have money. I'll tell you where you can get some. I'll where are you, you going to get, get it? Somebody. Where are you going to get it? By restructuring this tax code. By getting rid of the, the tax, the big tax break for the very rich, closing okay. loopholes for the big companies, right. tax these companies that are getting offshore and sending jobs away from here to, for cheap labor, that's how we get it. We straighten it up and do the right thing by the people of this country. You know, Congressman, I'm, I'm sure you know this because you're very good at these numbers, that if you were to hike everyone's taxes, even the rich, all the way up, 
to 50% more than they're paying now. If you were to do all of that now, do you know that you would still have about a $700 billion deficit this year? So you can yeah. only get there so and far. Like the tax. Thought, we're not going to get rid of the deficit this year. We didn't get into it in a year. Right. It took eight years to get here. And it's going to take at least a month longer to get out. In addition to that, we've got these wars that we should not have been in. We have all this unnecessary right. spending in the wrong place. You know, you're Congressman, you're right day. about everyone and everything that got us into this predicament. Republican and Democrats alike. All I'm saying, exactly. acknowledge the obvious. What I'm saying is Democrat and Republican. I'm saying we need some common sense right, right. now. Well, it's we not, no, no it's, all respect, man, it is not common sense to tell our kids we're going to strategically invest in you when we're going to leave you with a debt that's going to floor you. That's not common sense. Let, 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 let me just tell you something. First of all, if you got kids born right now, we're not going to get totally out of this debt by the time they become an adult. Do you want them to run around with no shoes, no clothes, and eating off the ground? And with the drinking water. I'm telling you, Congresswoman, they're going to be doing all of that. They're going to be doing all of that if we don't get this debt cut. We are quickly becoming a banana republic if we don't get this sense. It takes planning. It takes wisdom. It takes planning. It takes innovation. You can sit there and be as ignorant as you'd like to be, but it's not going to solve it. Well, ma'am, we can respectfully disagree, but I'm just telling you, we're going to hell in a handbasket. And that's the reality. I think you're already there. Yes, but I you probably. You refuse to have vision. Yes. You refuse to have vision. Well, you know what? I have, ma'am, I have vision when I've got money, and we don't have money, so I'm sorry, I'm out of vision. All right, you gotta you gotta get yourself some vision. Okay. And find a way to solve this problem. Absolutely. Uh, it's probably right where that pot of money is that I can't find. Congressman, seriously, very very nice having you, and on the debate goes. We'll have a lot more after this, including a breakdown of the latest numbers and uh, government solutions.